When signing JOTS, it's important to use certificate-based signatures for a couple of different reasons. For one, when we're using the HS256 algorithm, that's a password-based algorithm, so anyone that knows the password is going to be able to forge the JOT. And more than one party has to know the password, since the signer has to know the password in order to sign it, and the verifier has to know the password in order to verify. So already we have a problem that at least two parties know what the password is, and for that reason, the signature lacks some measure of authenticity. Once more than one party knows what a cryptographic key is, that cryptographic system loses some of its authenticity. And with the certificate-based system, the private key is never handed out to anybody except for the signer. No one else knows what it is, and there's a measure of authenticity with that. So let's take a look at the first problem, which is the fact that it's HS256 is a password-based signature. Now, the signature does work. To test this, we'll put Matilda in security level one, where it will verify JOT signatures, and we'll generate a request and response by visiting the page. We go over to Burp Suite. We'll take a look at the history. We see this last request here. We'll grab the token. Now, let's test whether or not Matilda is at least verifying signatures. In security level zero, it won't, by the way. Um, but since we're in level one, it does verify signatures. So we take the JOT over to the JWT.io page, and we'll go down to the encoded area and paste the JOT. Now we're going to forge a new JOT by changing the user ID from four to five. And until they're supposed to detect this. So let's send this request to the repeater. Let's replay the original request. It works, pulls back our information. We'll change the JOT to the forged one, the one that we just made on jwt.io. We'll send it over. Good, Matilda Day in level one detects that it's a forgery and says signature verification failed. So let's use the back button and the repeater to go back and take a look at the problem with this original jot though, even though it is signed, there's a problem. There are programs that do password guessing like Hashcat, and John, and they are HS256 aware. So they can do password guesses against JOT signatures. And if they can guess what the password is, then essentially the JOT signature can be broken. So we'll send the JOT out to a file. We'll just call it temp.jwt or tempjwt. And then John program is one of these programs that is HS256 aware. And so you can see that it detects the format and then it goes about doing password guesses. And in this case, the, it was able to guess what the password is. So now that we know what the password is, let's go back over to that website we were at. And then we had our jot down here in the uh, coded field. And if you recall, we had the user ID change to five, but Matilda detected the change because the signature didn't match. So down here in this verify signature field, we put snowman. Okay. Now let's go grab the jot that is generated. Go back over to repeater delete that jot, replace it with the one that we just signed. And this time it worked because we know what the password is, therefore we can sign the jot and because we can because it is a shared password jot, anyone who knows the password can sign it. So if we looked at this from a naive point of view, we might say, well, you know, the password stank, let's just use a randomly generated 50 character password and that ought to prevent the password guessing software like Hashcat or John from figuring out what the password is, problem solved. And that's true. The 
software would be very unlikely to guess a 50 character random password, but we still have multiple problems. Multiple parties still know what the password is, so the security is reduced there. Also, passwords can be leaked for other reasons besides password guessing. It could be leaked accidentally in a code repository or in the software itself, or one of the two parties could be uh, reusing the password or one of the two parties could lose the password or any other number of problems can happen. So we're still better off with certificate-based signatures, plus the certificate-based signature, because only one party knows what the private key is, has authenticity. That is, we have some confidence that the JOT must have come from the party who holds the certificate, since they're the only ones who knows what the key is. So in the case of JSON web tokens, we are much better off going with certificate-based signatures when possible over a password-based signature like an HS256.